you probably won't find a more perfect example of Byzantine mosaic architecture in this country with the exception of maybe the National Cathedral in Washington, D.C. There's over 10 million individual pieces, no larger than your small fingernail, all fused with gold, silver, and glass. I mean, it's an incredible work of art. This is actually the third structure on this piece of land. It's the latter end of 1905. The clergy and some of the funeral directors got together and approached the board at Lakewood and said, you need a chapel that is more fitting with such a grand cemetery. That same group who complained that we didn't have a decent building also complained that when they came in here, it wasn't church-like enough. So we had to buy some pews. They also didn't like the fact that the windows were too bright and it was too cheery in here. So what they did is they took all the windows and they shellacked them over with paper and, and shellac, muted all the colors. All of the copper sash and doors that you see here that are so bright and beautiful, those were all allowed to age and darken over time. When I started here, those, those doors and that were black and this place was very dimly lit. But you know, back in those days, that was, that's what you did. You went and you mourned the death. You did not necessarily, what we do today, celebrate the life. We did a renovation in 96, and all of what I just mentioned was undone. You know, let's talk about maybe some of the symbolisms that you're seeing in here. The area behind me, the, the, the rostrum, if you'll notice, we have the olive trees, and it's very, very subtle. There's a change from more green to more brown as you move along, and that represents the cycle of life. Cemeteries are full of symbols. You just gotta know what they mean. This is kind of the area where I like to talk about where you'll learn everything you wanted to know about cemeteries in the chapel, but we're afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to ask it. I could stand up here and talk to you for four or five hours, but we can't do that, we don't have time. We can go downstairs, that's that door on the left. Take your time, it's a spiral staircase. Andrew around, I'll come down and answer any questions you might have. When you get down there, there's the columbarium, and then there's the original crematory area, which is no longer active. And then finally, you can move into the exhibit area, which talks a lot about construction of this building, and there's a lot of uh, copies of the original documents. And then finally, down the ramp, you'll see a newer area down there. It's where families gather to witness cremation, and the new crematory is down there, too. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Yeah, yeah you're welcome. You're welcome.